Let's think back to three or four years ago, every freshman's favorite thing to do. No, not riding New York City taxis, but visiting the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Remember when you tried to change a Van Gogh into grapes? Or when you tried to recreate a famous portrait and it turned into a cartoon animal? Remember art appreciation when you tried to take that 100 question final and ended up getting half of it wrong? Today, I'll tell you why art restorators and conservators are so important to keep this dye tradition alive and how it relates to chemistry. So what exactly is art conservation? Art conservation is a science-based discipline that aims to preserve artwork, documents, artifacts, and other pieces of work. So this typically entails cleaning, repairing damage, reshaping, and reassembling of the original object. So the education of art conservators. So they typically have postgraduate degrees in a special field that they have a special passion for. Um, so the candidates must complete an overall coursework in chemistry, art history, archeology, span and studio artwork. So they have this general understanding of how everything works. So um, as I mentioned before, the different specialties, they include painting, works of art on paper, photographs, textiles, furniture, and 3D objects. They also must abide by guidelines and standards set by the AIC, which is the American Institute of Conservation of Artistic and Historic Works. Okay, so what exactly is the connection between art conservation and art restoration? So from 1925 to 1975, there was an expansion uh, of the field of art conservation. So museums established dedicated departments, analytical laboratories, as well as art technical journals. So there was this guy named Edward W. Forbes. Um, he became a pivotal figure in the development of the principles of art restoration. So he encouraged these technical investigations and x-radiography which is the imaging technique using x-rays, gamma rays, and similar radiation to view internal compositions of objects uh, or works of art in general. So what is art restoration? Art restoration is the discipline of repair and renovation of works that have already sustained decay with the attempt of restoring a work to its original state. So these decays or damages might come from discoloration, dullness, yellowing, or other aesthetic imperfections. Um, so the main goal of art restoration is to preserve inherent value of a work of art and its cultural heritage. So what exactly goes into the education of an art restorer? Or restoration. So the required education is a bachelor's degree in either art or history, studio art, or archaeology. And the recommendations is that you would have an internship or training in art for conservation or preservation um, sometime for your first job. The projected job growth is 9%. That's for museum technicians and conservers. And the median annual salary is $48,400. So how does art restoration and conservation relate to chemistry? So the most common causes of art restoration being needed are the moist conditions, light exposure, smoke or air pollution, mold, vandalization, and even accidental contact. So as an example, we'll go over how art restoration or restoration is of a painting actually works. So restoration is a collaborative effort of art historians, chemists, and material scientists all working together as art restorators. So the first step um, to restore a painting is that it would undergo its initial analysis. So x-rays are used to figure out um, how these works were made, the composition, materials, types of paint. Then um, infrared imaging is used, so conservators um, assess the original drawing and how much paint is actually lost and then the cameras are fixed with fixed wavelengths are used to pinpoint these carbon-based drawings. Next, um, so using spectroscopy, um, a technique used to analyze color and pigment composition, an exact characterization of the original paint is recreated and made. 
So then um, old varnish layers are actually removed so that we can see the original paint underneath. Then um, an intermediate coat of varnish is applied so that future restorations can be done without actually affecting its original layers. Then the restorator carefully inpaints the damaged areas. So dry pigment mixed with synthetic new yellowing solvents are being used here. And there you go, your artwork is restored. So why is art conservation and restoration so important? Well, it's all because of the art. Art helps us remember history. There's a continuation of shared experiences, connection between expressions, and it gives you this indirect communication between different generations. And of course, it tells us a story. And who doesn't like a good story? Whether that be of starry nights, of melting clocks, or even of grapes. And of course, we want Stives and students to continue taking art appreciation.